Hello, everyone. This is Good Morning Black People with Morgan Reese, and I'm your amazing, fantastic host, Morgan Reese. And we have the orator, Paula Fontana, the motivational speaker, the brand ambassador for, ben ambassador for Fly Ageless. So after these messages, we're going to jump right into this, this interview. And guys, we're ready to have some fun on this magnificent and marvelous Monday. Again, welcome back again. Hello, Paula. How are you doing this evening? I am wonderful. How are you? I am great. Thank you for taking up the time out of your busy schedule to join my show. Again, guys, this is Morgan Reese, and welcome to the show. Good morning, Black people, with your girl, Morgan Reese. And I have the amazing Paula Fontana, the young lady who has a finesse but boldness with words. So, again, thank you again for joining my show. Can you just tell us where you're from? So I am originally from Chicago, uh -huh, but I currently live in Atlanta. Oh, oh, okay, so you're a Georgia girl right now. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, okay. I don't know if I would say that. I still say I'm from the show. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I appreciate that because believe it or not, I used to live in Georgia before I, I, I met where I'm at now. And I was just like, no. Yeah. yeah it's just, a just, just very different. Yeah. About the thought process. The mentality, the the way people move, mm -hmm. like the whole thing is different. And again, no shade, but it is different. <laughs> right. Right. So how did you come into your platform? What what motivated you? What um what light bulb went off in your head and you say, you know what? I'm gonna start motivating people because I love how you do it. You use scripture. And you use spiritual things, but you also add a little twist to it. <laughs> and you be like, oh, okay, she's speaking spiritual stuff. And then you do a little twist to it. You're like, okay. So she's not just getting the Christians. She's getting other people's attention as well. That's right. That's right. So um, I went to a very small private high school. So my base, um, my foundation, if you will, is spiritual uh, because it was a Christian high school. And so... Um, started doing speaking in public, you know, obviously before COVID, it was all in public. And then once COVID took place, then I needed to find another outlet to get the word out. And initially when I got on social media, it was just about, you know, just fashion, sharing what I was doing. Um, but then it was um, really the Lord who spoke to me and said, you know what, I've given you this gift and it is for a reason. And this is the particular outlet that I want you to use it in, in this time. And once I was finally obedient, then uh, then it all sort of fell into place. Keywords, obedience. Obedience, right? Because for me, oh, I have been word. very stubborn and hard-headed for a very, very, very long time. So uh, tag, I'm in as well. <laughs> So I know all about that disobedience and obedience. And uh, my path sometimes have showed me, well, this is what happened because you didn't listen. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you said you're also in fashion. So when did that start? When did that get birth? So I, since 10th grade, have been into clothes and just love them. Like in high school was voted, you know, best dress, all of that. So it's just been something that's innate and in, within me. And I love to look put together and makes me just feel great. So, well, you. I'm going to tell you. I don't care if nobody else tells you whether they listen or not. You always look fabulous <laughs> with whatever you wear, even down to your glasses. Like your style is so unique, Thank so you. unique. And I see that you are a brand ambassador for Fly Ageless. I just joined that group a few months ago, just so I can see. And I'm always so in awe and and. Just like, look at all these graceful people, these people that are blessed by grace and saved by grace because of their ages and they don't look like their age or their character and their personality doesn't show 
what age or what their path they've been on. Right. And, and um, um, when you think about, you know, when we were growing up anyway, 50 seemed like such, you know, so old. And it seemed like people were almost put away after a certain age. But what I love about Fly Hip and Ageless is that it brings um, your flyness to the forefront, no matter your age, right? We're, if you were born fly, you're still going to be fly by the time you die. And so it, it's an incredible platform um, that I'm happy to be part of that community. Well, I, I, look, you got my vote. If they decide to vote again, just tell them to reach out to Morgan. <laughs> and if I can vote at least 100 million times, I'll vote 100 million times for you to be their ambassador because you are definitely that person. And I just joined the 50 group uh, in September. And I remember prior to me getting this old or in my mind, young, because in my mind, I don't really, I'm like, what is 50 supposed to feel like? Because I don't feel, mm -hmm. I definitely don't act like I'm older. I, I be around a lot of people and they're like, ooh, you in your 50s, girl, you, this part of your body going to start hurting, that part is going to hurt, you know, you're going to, you're going to go to the bathroom more, right. <laughs> all these things. And I'm like, no, I don't think none of that's going to happen to me, but okay, well, you know, we'll go with that. That's what you want to go with. Um, so you are in your 50s? I am. I am. Well into the fifties. Well into the fifties. Well, girl, you don't look. You look like you're in your thirties, and mama. Look, oh, we, we can go and put the car together. All right. Blessings on you for that one. <laughs> <laughs> we can definitely go get carded together because I'm actually got to get carded. I used to get carded before I turned the age that I'm at now, and now the age that I'm at now is like you're not fifty. No, mm -hmm. you're, you're just not that. So the basis of your platform where you are sharing the trinkets that you're sh you're sharing is it is it basically part of your obedience or is it like is you you've done your research and you said you know what i think i need to share this with the world mm -hmm. because this is what the world needs or is it based on just whatever god puts in your mind and on your heart and he says paula i need you to share this today because somebody needs this today because mm -hmm. i always used to wonder that what people do um, what you do where you're just coming on, you're just sharing little trinkets. Mm -hmm. What 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 starts it or what starts that sparks that fire? Um, so it's funny. So once I told you I started to be obedient, um, and I was sharing things, what I came to realize was that it was impossible to share authentically unless I was spending time in the word with him. Mm -hmm. And so every day uh, before I get my day started absolutely start with him and um sometimes it's you know something that a scripture that i read or it's a song that i'm meditating toward and it sparks and says you know what this is the word for the day uh, other times i could be driving down the road and something hits me and so i'll do a voice memo and then probably record it later so it comes to me from all different um different aspects or it could be something i see on social media i'm like you know what that's a great word let me just maybe make put a little twist to it, add my different spices and seasonings and then um, and then bring it to the people. But um, every day it's really about what what he tells me that people need. And so, uh, you know, when I started doing some work, I used to be many years ago, um, a career coach and started you know, helping people understand what it was that they brought to the table, what their purpose was. And it was during that time that I realized that my purpose was to inspire people to be the very best version of themselves. And so that is what my platform is. And that is what I attempt to do every day with his help. Man. Yeah, that was, yeah. That's basically where I'm at myself. <laughs> That's basically where I'm at myself. So it, it feels good to hear that someone else is on the same journey, but you just, he had you on it, doing it differently. But he had you giving your own, using your own gift. Mm -hmm. You have an amazing, an amazing gift. Um, you really definitely, get people attention um because it's like when anytime you came across my feed is always for something i needed to hear for that moment because okay. prior to me even really started back into um my podcast show again i was just like uh i don't know i think i just need to just really focus on my book part because i'm also an author oh, and i was like maybe i should just need to focus on my book part because this podcast thing i don't know and I had a dream and my dream was me interviewing a, um, a famous person, actually a famous person who
who just went through some things. Mm. And I was like, why am I interviewing that person? And I was like, okay, I don't even know why I'm interviewing that person. And I talked to my spiritual mom and she said, well, that means it's time for you to go back to work. Mm. And I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and like you, I was like, I'm not listening. I know that that's what she told me. She told me the, the spiritual version, because you know, we have people that give us natural advice mm, mm. and also spiritual advice. That's right. And sometimes the spiritual, sometimes intertwined in the natural to get our attention. Mm -hmm. And so that's how I end up getting you. <laughs> <laughs> so it kind of worked itself out. It kind of worked itself out. Um, do you have any projects that's, that's going on right now? Anything that's in, in the making? Because I have a, a, a saying on my show, 2023 is all about me. And people keep saying, well, it's December the 18th, 2023. The year is almost over. The month is almost over. And natural time is not. In God's time, he has no time. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, yeah, a couple of things um, in the works. Uh, don't want to say what they are just yet, um, but had a chance. I say go back. To, I went back to Chicago uh, last weekend. I was able to work on a project with uh, someone very dear to me. So I'm excited about uh, when that is going to be released next year. Awesome. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. Okay. Look, mom's the word, you know, sometimes. <laughs> you everything. Oh, I'm learning that as well. <laughs> I'm learning that as well. Like you can't tell everybody all your business. Because my new slogan is 2024 more is in store. That's really I love that. Yeah. 2024 more, more. is because yeah. 2023 is about me and 2023 is about you me yes 2023 it's been an amazing journey and i love to see like we were talking about fly hip and ageless um just people coming into their own you know I, I was looking on social media and saw the tab brown one and just celebrating her and her excellence and how she's just stepping out on faith and doing all the credible things. So 2023 seems like it was like about that awakening, right? And now 2024, more in store for all of us. I can't wait to see what transpires. You are not the only one because as my 2023 has been a a roller coaster ride, but more of a higher positive roller coaster than a lower roller coaster ride. And when it came to me about the 2024, and I was like, 2024 more in store. Okay, well, uh, okay, well, well, we'll see. You know, I'm still waiting. I'm still waiting. <laughs> but now I have the first finally step into that faith more, mm -hmm. you know, and he using me more than he's ever used me before. So again, disobedience is a hard thing. It's a hard mm -hmm. thing to, to be when you know your journey, your path probably has been different. Your story has been different. And, you know, the scripture that's carried me my entire journey is Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Mm, be not on your own understanding. Easier said than done in life. Because, you know, right. yeah. I say, life be life. And you be like, Lord, like, I know what you told me to do. I know right. what you said. But... And I already know this, you probably, I know you allowed this to happen on purpose because you like, this is a test. And I'm like, okay, so this is like school all over again. Mm -hmm. And I'm in school all over again. <laughs> <laughs> and you said you were a career coach. I was. Yeah. You were a career coach. Uh -huh. How was that path? Um, so that was like my second career. So I started in marketing, uh, which was my love. Um, and then got into a, a career coach just by happenstance. So the market was down. I was looking for another opportunity and I thought about who would value my skill set and decided to go back to my alma mater and, and be a career coach there. And um, realized then like that's when it hit me, um, the spirit of altruism or really the giving back, pouring into other people um, as opposed to keeping it all to myself. And um, I loved working with the students and seeing them um, grow from the things that we did together and then being able to get their careers um, that started them on their journey. So it was amazing. And I'm still in touch with many of them right now. And they and just seeing them grow and, and mature and then giving back to other people, it's, it's great. 
Awesome. So because you are blessed, you go, you became the blessing. <laughs> oh, just think about yeah. that. Yes. Right. And, and when you were talking about, we all have different paths. So that is um, why we all have something to give, right? Because we're going to resonate with different people. And so we all need to make sure that we are obedient so that each one can in fact reach one and we can allow this message to spread. Well, because we're in the holiday season and of course Christmas is my favorite time of the year, mm-hmm. not just because it's my son's birthday, but it's also <laughs> Jesus' birthday as well. And I look at it like this, in Christmas, the word first is Christ. So it's mm-hmm. always gonna be about him. No matter what, when they took prayer out the schools mm-hmm. and look at the school systems now, um, we got so many religions fighting against other religions or, you know, my religion is better than your religion or just so many confusion, conflictions, just chaos right now going on. Yeah. But in this holiday season, do you have anything that out of your book of thoughts <laughs> that you would like to share with the world to help them along during this journey? Because Christmas may not be a happy time for everyone. Mm-hmm. Or even if their journey is a happy time, things have happened to them. They may have lost loved ones, um, may have lost um, employment. Maybe you never, we never know what's going on in people's lives and their hearts and their worlds. And mm-hmm. share something with us. If you um, don't mind. Um, that's, ooh, that's a tough one uh, because you are right. It's, it's not necessarily a happy time for everyone. Like I think about, like I lost my mom very recently mm-hmm. in the past year or so. Um, and I know that it is a time of, even though it's a time for people to get together and get happy, that there's also this incredible sense of reflection and, and loss for so many people. Um, so it is, I say difficult, you know, a difficult time. And um, I like how you sort of made us focus on Christ and and what the reason for the season, as they say. And we, you know, when we think about his life and his journey was definitely not an easy one. You know, people, even people who he sat with and, and broke bread with betrayed him. But he carried on because he said, not my will, but but yours be done. And so I would encourage us all to, like he did, you know, in the Garden of Gethsemane, sometimes you need to fall back and reflect. And I know during this particular time, it's one where I shut it all down, take the time off, take the PTO, and really just allow God to fill my cup. And so we're gonna encourage everyone to allow your cup to be filled at this particular time, however that occurs, right? And so maybe it's around being around family and loved ones and friends and allowing them to pour into you. Maybe it is just um, a retreat and you um, just spending time in the word and, and thinking about you know what, what he's done for you. But however it is that you fill your cup, allow it to be filled during this time so that in 2024, you can, in fact, get what's in store for you. I'm not getting emotional on here today. I'm not, <laughs> I promise, okay. you, I right. promise you, I'm not doing it. <laughs> not doing it. Yeah, not, I wasn't ready for that, but that's okay. I'm not doing it. I'm not, I'll wait to off camera. But I'm not getting emotional right now on camera. <laughs> this is a real show. This is an authentic show. Um, I'm very transparent and I believe in sharing more positive, more good, because we got so much negativity, so mm-hmm. much chaos in the world, so much evilness in the world. Um, so many people are losing their lives. So um, my my goal and my mission is to always share positive, you know, and people always say she's always happy. She's always smiling. And during my journey, even when I was going through the things I was going through, I always had a smile. So look like that never changed. Right. And by you sharing that, I promise you, you're going to put a smile on someone's face mm-hmm. and their heart. <laughs> so <laughs> if anyone needs to find you, how do they find you? Where, uh, what platforms are you on? Um, how, do, how can anyone find, uh, locate, and stay in connection with Paula Fontana? 
So on IG, I am uh, Paula Fontana 3. And then TikTok, I am Paula Fontana. Okay. And are you on Facebook as well or no? So Facebook, yes. So Paula Fontana dash orator. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I mean, after you just said what you said, I'm like, uh, I am, I'm really at a loss for words because I was going to ask you to share one more thing for the end of, end of this to, and you just kind of, you still have to deal with that. I mean, you still have to deal with that. There's really not much else left to say after that. But is there anything else that you would like to um, share out of your trinkets of knowledge with, mm. with us? Um, but have you- I would just say, you know, be encouraged What what I try to encourage everybody to do is to step into your authentic self, whatever that is, appreciate and love yourself for who you are and show up authentically. And so would encourage us all to, to love up on ourselves and show up as ourselves. That's it. That's it at the end of the day, because this young lady guys, Paula Fontana is the brand ambassador for fly ageless. I don't know if you guys are following that platform, but I promise you, I've seen men and women in their 50s, their 60s, their 70s, their 80s, and they're living life, like she said, just live life authentically mm-hmm. um, in their comfort skin, in their comfort minds, in their hearts that they are. And this young lady is fly. <laughs> She's fly, you know, I promise you. I'm going to get some fashion secrets from her at offline. <laughs> so I can build my wardrobe of, um, of eloquent uh, styles. <laughs> I was rocking the red hair for a while and then I had to tone it down a little bit because everybody was like, man, you really got that red glowing. And I was like, right, do you? <laughs> I was like, well, okay, I'll tone it down a little bit because my personality is already high and the rib was already high. So, you know, I toned it down just a little bit. But um, it was amazing. Thank you, God. And thank you again, Paula, for taking out the time out of your busy schedule to join me tonight. Um, I know you're getting ready for the holidays as well as everybody else is. But I just really wanted to bring you on prior to that because I, I knew you had something that, that you want to share. And I already know once you get off of this, you're going to be sharing some more. Right. But um, my heart was led to you, oh, if that right. makes sense. And I followed my instructions. I, my heart led to you and I follow them. It's, it feels good to be obedient. Yeah, <laughs> and obedience is definitely better than sacrifice. Because right? you know. <laughs> Lord knows, whoo, the sacrifice was real. <laughs> oh, it's been my pleasure, my absolute pleasure. And guys, I would definitely love you to have her come, love you for you to come back on my show whenever your time is scheduled for events. Because guys, this woman has a wealth of knowledge. Um, I love her demeanor. I love her humbleness. And that's rarity in these days and times when you're communicating, interacting with people, whether they're on social media or they're on in their own personal home, in their couch, just relaxing and living life. And this young lady is that person. Um, this is what humbleness and obedience looks like. And obviously, she probably knows the journey about obedience being sac- better than sacrifice as well. <laughs> so I would definitely love to bring you back on. And guys, again, this is Morgan Reese. Good morning, Black people. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you guys are at. Thank y'all for joining my show this evening. You got me all emotional. I'm like, I have not been like this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so, because unfortunately I lost my dad about three years ago. So this is my year of grieving because mm-hmm. I had a lot of unanswered questions. So that comment, you know, that statement really, really hit home. Right. But guys, again, thank y'all for joining my show and be blessed. 2024, more in store. Okay. 2023 was all about us. And it's only December 18th, 2023. The year is not over. Mm-hmm. God has his own time, not ours. Amen. I'm Morgan Reese, inviting you to tune in weekly for some empowering, enlightening, and embracing conversations to kickstart your day on Good Morning Black People.